Hey, what's going on guys? Go make again Z here. Uh, in this uh, live coding video, I will be working on a real world Jenny's just programming project that uh, I'm doing together with Fan Hao Jian, the author and uh, maintainer of sensinenglish.com site. So now uh, Hao Jian is already playing around with uh, embedding my apps into his website uh, uh, as iframes. Uh, it's just a proof of concept, so it's slightly a bit not that great if the normal size uh, is enabled, but uh, it's just a proof of concept. And again, like, so uh, uh, I would have been making custom apps for uh, for this website, and now currently it's, it's using uh, the ones from uh, my OpenCNC uh, Jenny's Chess Engine from this sort of an apps. So literally iframes point into to my uh, apps from here but again like the size would be altered and uh, some other things uh, also as well so in this video in particular uh, I would be developing uh, s uh, applications derived from uh, this OpenCNC apps uh, to exactly fit the purpose of uh, being uh, 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 for the purpose of being published here on cncenglish.com also uh well it's, uh, this one is, is a little bit more successful well unfortunately i don't have an access to the uh to how Zen's code so he, he embeds uh, the html snippets uh, on his no on his own I, I can't really do nothing to this so i'm only responsible what's going on within the iframes if you have a look at this this is just an iframe and in the previous video overall i've already been explaining how in particular this sort of an iframe is uh, uh, can be easily embedded so here is the iframe okay uh so he wants this to be smaller and also he wants a uh, specific uh specific uh, images so they look like more like something like this from dumpingtnt.com site uh, but actually in particular i guess we're supposed to be using uh, just hold on a sec, I guess uh, I need to uh, read a message from uh, Hao Jian. Okay, sorry for being distracted for uh, answering the email from uh, Hao Jian. So, uh, here is uh, the actual board size, how he wants this to, to look like. And this, this image is generated from CC Bridge, which is uh, Jenny software to work with CNC. So, uh, it runs on Windows. Uh, I managed to run this via, uh, via Wine emulator. Uh, it's not really that great, but uh, the core functionality seems to be working. So I think this might be the case. So I would be. Uh, so what am I? What in particular am I supposed to be doing uh, within this video? So first, uh, I'll try to describe what I'm supposed to be doing. So 320 by 200. Okay, and then uh, I will actually go for. Uh, I will go for an actual work. So we see how how likely this this would go so uh, uh, currently uh, here is uh, uh, these are the made in two uh, made in two uh, uh, puzzles that are available on how site so here here we have those with the solutions uh, these diagrams are from donpincnc.com dpxq uh, the, the site name and here he embeds my board. So the first issue that it's a little bit too big, and the second issue that its style is a little bit goes well. It's not the the style that uh, that we want. We really want the style of this sort of stuff. And also, when when the board size would be like this, it should perfectly fit this right part uh, of the website to avoid this sort of a disaster here. So now now I can only just scale. And so th this 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 would be something something that looks like this actually. So I hope that the task is quite pretty clear. And by the end of this video, I hope to end up with uh, a couple of apps. So uh, another another little thing. So here I have uh, all the mates. So made in one, two, three, four, five, etc. So like all the mates, but here we need only to have mates in two because this is the section for mate in two. Again, like this is just a proof of concept. So we, need, we only need the mate, mates in two here, okay? And uh, respectively, uh, respectively, so we just go to CNC puzzles. 
So here uh, we need mate in three, mates in three to to well it, he would later embed this to whatever page doesn't doesn't really matter that much. Uh, so yeah, to whatever of the pages that, that might be just fine. So here we would be having mate, mates in three. So obviously it's not here, and so on. Uh, so the number of so uh, that would be a single app for every single page. Maybe not the best ever solution from the perspective of the architecture, but again, like as far as I, uh, as far as I don't really have an access to to these website sources, and we're working we're interacting via iframes. I think that's the best uh, possible way of doing things. So without further ado, let's actually start and go for this uh, amazing and exciting project. So I would like to start a new pro a new project on GitHub. Uh, I think I can even make this public because, yeah, nothing really. Sense, uh, no, 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 no sensitive information here, so maybe someone else would be able to reuse this uh, this sort of a, uh, of an app as well. So this might be really fun. Okay, so I just want to create a new repo. So let's call it CNC in English uh, apps. Okay, CNC in English apps. Okay. And yeah, let's make it public. So let's say CNC, yeah, say embedded, embedded CNC apps for CNC in English.com site. So I just grab the site name, copy website by fun Haldian. Uh, let's make it like this. Okay, and public. Well, README might be added later on. Yeah, I think this is. Well, uh, if Howden is not okay with this repo being public, which I really doubt he will, so probably he should be okay with this. Then I can make it private. But that doesn't mean it doesn't really matter that much. So let's create a repo here. And. Yeah, and just grab the link to clone the code, and I'm going to my working directory. And here I would be working on this stuff. So opening terminal, and I want to get clone and this site here. CNC in English apps. Okay, so yeah, I think I don't even need to go. CNC in English apps. I don't think I don't even need to go for a source. Or on the other hand, well, probably, yeah. Let's just create the apps folder. Uh, and here, I don't know how in particular. Well, probably. Uh, yeah. Let's say let's call it puzzle solvers. Let's let's call it puzzle solvers, okay? And new window. Mm. Uh, and I want to derive from my uh, yeah from my puzzle solver. Yeah, from this one. Okay, so here let's call it mate in one. Okay. Yeah, like maybe not the best ever solution, but I think this still might be making some sense. Well, I, I know that duplicating the code is a bad idea, but uh, we're fighting for make it uh very easy to embed for Haudian for my client because yeah that's really uh that's really kind of like uh the most important thing here so let's copy and just paste this stuff in and as far as i adjust the first initial version then all the rest would be just the copies okay so i'm going to the gui now it should be alive 
Okay, so as far as this would be an embedded stuff, I don't really need the background image. So, okay. I don't really need the background image here. So, mm, because the frame, the iframe doesn't actually need that, so I can get rid of the background image. Save. Uh, I think that still centralizing the uh, element, the object, I is a good idea. Well, if it turns out to be not really that great, I will probably... Well, I don't even know, to be honest. Uh, well, probably, yeah, probably... Probably I can just get rid of all of this stuff as well. I just think that for iframe it's not essential. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 what have I done? Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I've done something horrible here. Mm. First of all, I just want to get rid of all the unnecessary stuff from from this from this page mm. it's, it's a bit of a mystery for me why 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 it puts okay so it still has okay hold on a sec maybe it's just a matter of the cache Still has the, the background image. This is a, this is strange at very least. Oh, maybe because. Mm, let's get rid of this one. Let's get rid of this one. So I need only only the puzzles, the puzzle solver, and the engine. Okay. Where this comes from, I'm a bit confused. background size contain maybe because of this mm. <laughs> okay this this is getting confusing already a little bit well okay so let's go a little bit different way in this case let's keep it in the center in this case yeah, let's just keep it in the center. It works like... Uh, uh, let's get rid of this interactive removal of the background image. So we don't really need the background image here. Okay, so this looks like a bit better. So we still have the access to uh, the base, the database of mm, of the positions, of the meeting positions, the bundle database. Okay. Mm, and now let's go f to, to and adjust the size. Or well, probably, uh, or I don't know. Okay, so it should be here, game images no no hold on a sec puzzle solver new engine okay here it is so cell width cell height uh yeah uh this should be uh i'm wondering do i do i resize uh, I feel like I need to write some function to specify the board size uh, or create this. This might be a really good idea. Mm. But on the other hand, yeah, it seems like everything depends on on the size. I, I, I'm a little bit confused, but okay. So here, uh, here is another fixed 
pixels for image. Okay, so so I literally have this three three variables. Mm. It would be nice to make a high level setup for them, so I could have easily changed this. Okay, so maybe let's add here a constant uh, piece width. Uh, would it would be 44 at the moment. And actually now they would be the variables because I'm going to be changing them. They're, they are no longer to be constants. And piece width here. Okay, should be the same for now. Okay, good. And the next thing. Mm. Okay, so how am I? How am I gonna do this? Yeah, probably. Uh, do I have some on create? Okay, init puzzles. Uh, I think uh, I can make this like init board size. So later on, I could have uh, changed uh, the only single line of code uh, instead of changing all the stuff. So let's say function set board size. Yeah, I think this should work. So let's make sure that this happens on uh, on load. Yeah, it does. Okay, so uh, I had three hundred and twenty per uh, twenty uh, uh, three hundred and twenty per two hundreds request, right? But it doesn't obviously mean that it would be the actual that it would be the actual size. Okay, so I will now just try to see. Okay, guys, just uh, I just paused the video, so I don't really want you to see my uh, uh, emails. So hold it a sec. Okay, so here is the board. So I'm really wondering, is this really? Well, not exactly. But anyway, uh, this is the kind of real size, so I just want to, uh, sh should it fit here? Oh, it probably does contain some extra, yeah, it should be, it should perfectly fit. Okay, and, and regarding this one, yeah, this is the size. Yeah, it seems to be the, well, even slightly less. Well, does it doesn't matter really. So it should be it should be around like this one. Should be around like this one. Uh, okay. Uh, it's not that big deal. Okay, so now the most complicated part, the math that I really suck in okay so just some code from the previous iterations so i now need to alter these guys so let's say so here i had 46 multiplied by 9 and this was yeah the width and also 46 multiply, uh, sorry, multiplied by 10, and this was the height. So this should be 320, I believe. So let's say 320 uh, divided by, uh, hold on a sec, is this 10? Yeah, divided by 10. So 32, 32. Okay, so 
I think this might be just slightly less well not sure at the moment okay so let's say uh, let's say well hold on a sec it's no longer a constant in this case uh cell width cell height well in this case i really need to rename them but uh okay let, let's uh, I, i'm just a bit confused that the constants are uppercase and the variables shouldn't be uppercase but assuming that this kind of like still technically it's variables but essentially these are the constants okay so cell width cell height and this one mm. i mean like or no hold on a sec guys I, I will do this a little in a little bit different fashion uh let's say let's take let's say we take the height here right because width would it be uh, would it be yeah respectively uh, calculated and cell height would be equal to this height divided by 10 right and cell width would be the same as the cell height because uh we need squares right we don't need rectangles and piece width would be well let's try cell height minus two but this this is not uh, obviously uh, should be like this okay and also I want to say set well hold on a sec uh, I'm just wondering uh, on startup yeah this is on startup but what's what happens the first I guess so w when the initial drop word happens okay yeah so the initial drop word happens after i using this set puzzle so set puzzle and then i draw the board yeah and then the new game okay so i think it's enough to set to put it here so set board size mm. and let's make it 320 pixels okay so okay so I hold my breath and let's see what we got eventually let's see what we got okay we got an error I believe yeah I would also need to adjust uh, uh, this controls as well but before that height is not defined uh, excuse me okay okay we got a smaller board but what the heck is this I'm really wondering uh, it's a bit strange uh, behavior for a container uh, yeah I probably I need to adjust the container uh, as well so let's have a look at the container okay so this is a background size container I, I guess th this is this is an issue uh, so I can uh, I can be altering this programmatically as well I think that's the right way to go right but no no hold on a sec this can be well I, I, I could have get rid of this uh, 
uh, I could have get rid of this, uh, but that's not what I want. I want to set this with for. Okay, so oh, puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. Where is the board? Where is the board? Or hold on a second, a little bit. Confused. What's the size of this div? Okay, let's go for trial and error method like I usually do. No, it's still, uh, there should be some width for all of this stuff. Body. I'm a bit confused, why the width? Hold on a sec. Mm. So this is this is the div, right? This is the entire div. But why the div is fixed has this fixed size? Well this is a little bit of an issue. Mm. Sorry guys for this a little bit of bo boring stuff here you, you, you're now watching, but that's how the actual job looks like, so it's most likely this boring routine. But eventually it should be quite a pretty fantastic result, I hope. Okay. Oh, if I only remember how I did this, so let's say if I just give it a some fixed width. Is this gonna affect something? I'm just I'm just really wondering. Okay, it seems like. Okay, okay, so uh okay so let's try to do this programmatically. Well this is still a little bit strange but okay CNC board so let's go here and we also want to say document get element by id cnc board dot style dot width equals to uh, cell width multiplied by nine right because we have nine cells let's see what it go what it does for us excuse me okay okay oh uh. hold on a sec this border why the div? Uh, hold on a sec. Maybe background size. Okay, and if I just just get rid of this. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. So just just trying to figure out where where the div ends. Yeah, so this is definitely the div, but um, I really don't understand why, wh where is the width uh, for a div? Uh, so probably this is a little bit wrong. So yeah, I just need to, I just need to Google this, but I don't remember it by heart. So let's say JavaScript, uh, Div style width, okay, okay, 
And so how do I change it? Come on. Okay. Element.style.width and in pixels. Uh, Well, maybe hold on a sec. Hold on a sec and make it to string and plus pixels. This is gonna work. Okay, perfect. Okay, I really like it already. Uh, that still might not be the exact size though. So let's just try to visually see how likely. Well, I, I could have been trying to embed in this manually. So that still might be on the cards. But hold on a sec. What's the width of this element? So they probably they should be around the same. Uh, Oh, it's a little bit of an issue. Okay. I don't understand. Ooh, a side is this one. Okay, yeah, this one, place in C, custom center, uh, but the width is unclear, really. Okay, well, anyway, uh, uh, anyway, we'll now try to play around with uh, dynamically setting up the width, uh, the well, actually, the height here, here in this case. We could have been setting the width as well. Uh, well, probably the width is more appropriate, so in this case... We can say uh, width divided by nine, and in this case, so height GHD equals to so width and Yeah, I think this is it. Now, now it should be uh, slightly different, uh, a bit bigger, because, yeah. But, yeah, let's say, let's make it 300. So just to see if it changes dynamically, okay, let's make it 200. Oh, okay, this is a, li a little bit of a pain. Okay, so this is the pain because of the, uh, I guess, because of the images themselves. Uh, well, I hope I don't need that little one. It's slightly bit... Uh, not really handy to play with. So, well, seems like this is the smallest, 250. Seems fine. Uh, hold on a sec. Uh, yeah. Multiply by nine. Yeah. Mm. Just trying to try to visually compare. Should be okay. Is this kind of more narrow itself? Okay. Well, at at very least for now, this seems to be more or less appropriate at least just just for the very first draft okay so we did is uh, we did correct the sign the size uh, okay so this would need this would be used reused many times so let's say let um, frame width 
equals to this sort of a stuff and now we can use the frame width for all the elements well it would be actually more more correct way of doing things like setting one width and then all the child elements kind of fit in this width uh yeah but i'm koma kikin so i think i can allow myself to do this a little bit more uh, in a bit more dumb way well, as far as I'm not a front-end developer, I think <laughs> this is forgivable uh, as we're at realist assuming the end result. Okay, so puzzles. Yeah, so we just... By the way, hold on a sec. Is this going to get... Uh, nope. But hold on a sec. If I just... And this bot images, pictures, yeah, they should be changed as well. Okay, hold on a sec. If I just say style with here, mm, I used 250 at the moment. Am I? Yeah, by the way, it's still. Oh, oh my god. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain with yeah I also need to adjust my stuff that regards to yeah uh, adjusting the picture size as well yeah because it sucks now really okay uh, that that can be handled uh, If I make, if I enclose these guys within the columns, uh, within the div class calls, I'm wondering, is that going to work? But on the other hand, mm, then like this is about to be changed. Uh, I'm not sure how what's the proper way of setting the width here. Mm. I'm not really gonna be changing this later on, but if I would be reusing this one day in different sites, would it be it's it's gonna be a good idea to have this option of the actual resizing easy resizing without rewriting tones of code manually mm. okay if I make it a call this is gonna change something oh really well, okay, uh, okay, I just don't have time to, okay. Or, hold on a sec. Mm. So can we fit the width of the parent element? Is there a reason? No, I need to write some additional CSS. No, it's too long. It's too long. Okay. So I'll go for, a, for an easier way. Save. I'll just now write one single function and that would have be been enough. Uh, this one probably should be changed manually every time, but it's not a big deal. Okay, so let's see what we have. Mm, so let's try to 
Okay, here is it. Here it is. Here it is. So IZ puzzles style. Okay. So I get rid of this here and the year puzzles. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is really getting annoying, to be honest. I don't know, maybe I really shouldn't use this. Well, actually, for for that website, I don't really see the reason of embedding this custom load. So hold on a sec, what if I just get rid of that? If if Houdin requests to, to add that back, I can do this. But for now, for his side, I don't see the reason of embedding this sort of a uh, view element to custom uh, piece, the FVN. So I just want to... No, I just get rid of this completely. I mean, really, we don't really need this. Okay. Uh, and not only this button. So where where is the button? I'm just wondering. Uh, I can hardly believe this is going to change much. It just changes, yeah, the size of. Okay. Mm. Okay, so let's try to set at least this PG. Oh, hold on a sec. I just I just want to check this manually. Is this going to be working? Okay, this seems to be good enough. Uh, well, this might this guy might be optional. Well, actually, you know, like this might be optional, or probably even better to to make it like uh, a title. I think that would be. Uh, a better idea actually so just to make that as a title uh, yeah but in that case yeah, it also serves the purpose of sh showing if it's a mate or not mm. so printing the most now uh, I actually need to keep this I need to keep it okay let's get done with the button so can I make this button? Uh, okay. Well, probably I just don't need the image here, really. Okay, I don't really need the image. So let's better say uh, puzzles. Okay. maybe say pick puzzle uh, I want to make it BD and small as well might not be the best solution but yeah to our list and I'm just wondering bootstrap button with uh, yeah hundred percent yeah this is what I want So 
So I need an additional call there. Okay, so div class call just like I thought. Okay. Nope. Cute me. Oh, hold on a sec. Sorry guys, uh yeah, just not working with this daily. That's the reason of so uh I think this should do the trick. Nope. Oh man. The parent element should be a class of call to make this width full full size. Mm. And one, one last try. I'm, I'm sorry for this trial and error method. Just, uh, yeah, I'm just not a front end developer. That's the reason. That's the only reason. Still sucks. Okay. It, uh, I remember there was a very simple solution. I just. Maybe this one, BD and default. BD and block. Well, uh, th th this is interesting. So, is this going to work? Mm. What I love Bootstrap for is that it's it extremely. Hold on a second. M maybe this happens because of a drop down. Okay. Uh, uh, I just want to check this on the symbol on the single button button so may maybe it just doesn't work with mm. maybe it just doesn't work okay 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 that's what I want that's what I want so if I make a call here nope well, I still need the scrollable menu, but I guess I can put it. Or no, hold on a sec. This this shouldn't mean anything really. Mm. Okay, guys. So sorry. I, I just paused the video because no 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 reason to see uh, how I struggle with this stuff. So just hold on a sec, please. Okay, guys, so I ended up with the just picking up a snippet from uh, Bootstrap site, or no, even from uh, W3School, doesn't matter. So now we finally have this nice button here. So now this column works, and remember, it should work. Now we'll alter the classes a little bit. So. I even think that no, I just it's literally enough to to grab this classes. Okay. Okay, good. I want the margin top 
margin top one. Okay. Yeah, no, this is this is this is really it. And now instead of this drop, so here within the drop down menu, uh, I think this one should be on the cards. Okay, and well, I can actually put this if. Put it here. And what the heck is this? Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, so the position updates. Okay, this is already good. So I also need the margin bottom as well. So, 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 so. Margin top, margin bottom one. And I want to make it bitty and small. Why it's not bitty and small still? Mm. Oh, is it because no, hold on a sec. Yeah, then it would have been bigger. Oh, so that was small already. Okay. Okay, so well, the size is pretty nice. Uh, I'm a bit, I'm a little bit confused by. Hold on a sec. Something is going wrong with the CSS of this one. Uh, Yeah, like, yeah, I, I know that I use this custom, I know that I use this custom kind of like, oh, hold on a sec. Uh, size and fixed size is also kind of bad then really, but yeah, for now, this, this is acceptable. Here's pixels as well. Oh. Hold on a sec, I don't understand. Yeah, hey, what's wrong with this? Have any issues? Nope. Uh, 
Ah, what have I done? Hold on a sec. Uh, hold on a sec. Yeah. Uh, so let's make it. Let's make them same. What did I? Oh, max eight. And yeah, now this should be fine. I hope. Yeah, now this is fine. Okay, so now uh, I'm more or less like how it looks like. Basically, small, more or less just fine. So the next thing to deal with is this uh, horrible pictures of highlighting the illegal moves. Mm. Uh, oh my god, if I could only remember... Okay, background image. So where did I... Set the width, image... Style width. Oh, no, 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 hold on a sec. This is the background image of, of the table. Yeah, this is a little bit of a pain already, to be honest. This is a little bit of a pain. Didn't I set up? Okay, guys, so probably just uh, pause, pause the recording uh, one more time to uh, just figure out the proper way of dealing with this issue, and then I'll be back to you. Okay, guys, so it seems like uh, I found a very easy way to, to fix this issue. Uh, it seems to be, seems like it looks like more or less just how it should be. I mean, this legal moves. So, yeah, now it looks quite pretty awesome, I believe. So, uh, I'm, uh, I have added this sim sim single line to the highlight code. So, just setting the background size to cell width. It also uh, supports cell width plus, plus cell height, but we literally need only the cell width. So, this should be fairly enough. So, yeah, now we have this cell width. And now, well, actually, I think that from now on, if we just try to... Ex uh, well, uh... It, uh, hold on a sec. Uh, the only thing that would still be the same is the size of this uh, CSS. But hold on a sec. I'm just wondering, can I, can I assign uh, ID equals to? Can I, can I uh, reference style tags in JavaScript? I, I never, never, never thought about that. So let's say. Um, Drop down, uh, drop down CSS. Can I, can I reference that one? Oh, it seems at least like doesn't give any error. Uh, yeah, let's make it bigger. Let's make it bigger, yeah, just to make sure if it works or not. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, so does it really... 
Uh, okay, uh, so in this case, I just want to lock this element. So just just to see if it's if I can access this. Oh, hold on a sec. Uh, is it text or? Uh, style. <laughs> Never try to reference them from the CSS tags from JavaScript. I'm just wondering JavaScript change CSS tag, change style tag. Is this possible? Oh yeah, this is it. This is interesting. So I'm not the only idiot who has been asking this before. Oh, inner HTML. Yeah, this is cool. This is cool. So hold on a sec. Uh, inner HTML seems to be very interesting. So th th this should be treated as the text of li like for other ta text, just a text within or style text. The styles are actually okay. So I think that, yeah, if I now can equals to and I now just specify the styles copy and I just programmatically specify this sort of a thing here and this should work at least I really hope so yeah programming is so interesting okay so here mm, So can I use actually the height of also the width? No, the width is okay, right? The width should be okay. So here, uh, no, not like this, like this. And like this and cell height, maybe plus a small margin should be fine. Maybe like plus one or two pixels. Hold on a sec. What a heck is this? No. So let's see what we got eventually. I'm just really tempted to know. What the heck is this? 27. No, no, not cell width. What have I done? Frame width. Uh, no, we, actually, we need the frame height in this case. So let frame height equals to. And do I need pixels here? Yes, I can. In this case, I just don't need this and this uh, okay oh no 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 nope nope oh what have I done okay so like this and like this save and still pixels of frame height how about this one Okay, it's much better now. Okay, this is much better. Frame height, but here I want them to be multiplied by 10. Okay. Almost perfect. Uh, well, I think multiplying by 11 would be a bit of an overflow. And 
and okay so let's make it by 10 and there was 296 minus uh, hold 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 on a sec mm. Two seven seven is a bit strange number. Oh, that's because okay, okay. So nineteen. So if I just say plus twenty and uh, plus twenty like this. Is this going to work programmatically? 20 is not a function. Are you kidding me? Oh, plus, plus. <clears throat> yeah, that's a little bit too much. Oh, it goes after pixels. Uh, okay. Just want to make them the same. So pixels here, pixels here. Oh, I use frame width and height only. Okay, so I just can drop pixels from here and from here. So frame width plus pixels, frame height, frame width plus pixels. And here, okay, is this gonna be the case? Yeah, almost perfect. Uh, but I want to do this, so this should be a math, okay. And now, hopefully, hopefully, nope, it's a bit of a, it's a bit strange. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, now almost perfect. Uh, but not twenty. But may let's maybe try. Well, this margin, this this margin might be not okay for it might not be responsive most likely it won't be responsive but uh, I don't know it's not crucial it's not critical so it's not really that critical yeah uh, I just I just leave it like this so let's make 100 okay okay good so okay okay now let's try just some different sizes okay this one sucks How about, well well whoa this is cool this is really cool so it's it, it's even responsive but some something happens with the pgn Something happens with the PGN. Uh, oh, I just probably don't set that up uh, properly. Yeah. So PGN. Okay. Yeah, obviously. So I just don't set that programmatically. Uh, so copy paste and I want to make the same for PGN okay and now let's drop back to 250 okay fantastic just awesome okay what about okay good so we have this little things okay brilliant just brilliant okay so now probably uh 
yeah I can go for custom images I just can go for custom images here yeah I think that might be the case okay mm. so I need I need this image and this is from CC bridge so let's go and see the files from CC bridge uh, skins by the way hold on a sec guys I just want to check the sounds whether the sounds working uh, yeah good so the sound seems to seem to be working uh, maybe yeah I could have set the font size to a little bit smaller font size here mm. by the way do I have some font size uh, maybe I just set, set it globally or it doesn't affect or it doesn't affect uh, my yeah it doesn't affect really so can take okay uh, font size uh, is this publishable I'm just really wondering mm. this also would be nice to do dynamically because I want this bigger font size and the smaller for font size regarding basing on uh the size of the board but uh so i just want to figure out if i can control if i can control the font size okay i can control the font size oh awesome this is really awesome so i can make it even 12 i think uh, well maybe 10 yeah 10 is perfect 10 is just perfect okay well I think well th this can be altered later uh, I just the only thing I need to think about so I don't really want to uh, change this in numerous kind of like apps so probably I'm just thinking how to make the different links for how the end so he could have just embed the iframe maybe maybe some command line parameter like they doing this fancy frames like uh, react view and man how is that called angular so let's say like made in one things like this This might be the case for uh, specifying the actual database for, yeah, uh, specifying the, the database for mate for mates in respective number of moves. Yeah, I think that's the case. So in that case, I would be easily, uh, I would be able to easily change uh, in one place, change this. Uh, this diagram I think that that is good idea I think that is a good idea should I make this made in one puzzles a bit a little mm.
well here probably 12 would be okay uh, well I, I really want to make this to make this size depend on the board somehow but how can I do that uh well okay i just drop it like this for now uh and also okay adding this style here for 12 to make the list oh uh, what have i done oh no sorry so where do I generate this guys dynamically? So maybe puzzle item style one size is this specified like this I'm not sure never done this before yeah it seems like okay now this is awesome now this is really awesome so it's not that big okay 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 so yeah, I think now we can go here to skins. So which one, which one do I want to, which, which one am I asked to do? So just try to figure out, so is this, is this it? Default, the default one. Okay, so this one with the Chinese characters, this one is without them uh well they that might be changed okay this is absolutely okay probably this one hold on a sec is this this okay yeah i think this is the exact size that i need the exact size for of a picture mm. well as far as this is bmp not svg like i had before it's not gonna be it, it, it's gonna be losing the density when it if it gets bigger so for responsiveness it's not really a good idea but uh, assuming my particular case I think this might be just fine and here I have the pieces yeah so probably now uh, a bit of a pain is wait is awaiting for me with uh, uh, a bit of a pain with by the way, yeah, these are the traditional characters, which is good. To extract these pictures, so I'm not going to be demonstrating this. This is not a tutorial on how to use the uh, uh, picture a picture editor. So, uh, okay, I just start uh, with grabbing the board. Mm. And... Well, actually, yeah, I don't already need this. So, yeah, this won't be like made in one minute. So this would be the single app. So it's another thing to change within the project later on. Okay. Uh, GUI game images boards. So I'm using this board light. Paste. Board BMP. Rename, let's call it board CC bridge. Okay, so board CC bridge. Uh, draw board or no, no, what were? So here I need to say board cc bridge dot bmp. 
I hope this works. I really hope this is going to work. Okay, perfect. This is really awesome. Uh, okay, so it's it also seems like my pieces are just fine. And I think that I don't even need to touch my pieces. So what's different? So here, yeah, the difference is that the pieces have this light background within them. Uh, I really love how it looks like this, to be honest. I don't know how, how Dan uh, would prefer, if he prefers this. Uh, well, well, actually... Okay, uh, probably I really go for well, traditional pieces. Uh, let's, let me just copy. So this would be the name traditional pieces transparent. And here, oh no, it's just, yeah, they, this is the background. This is the actual background of the pieces. I don't even know. Well, to, to be honest, well, on the, on the one hand, to make it look like exactly like in CC Bridge is a good idea, but on the other hand, well, it's a little bit, uh, well, so probably, yeah, I think, I think I may, I make this quickly. Uh, can I, so I need the Inkscape, right? Yeah, this is, this is, this is gonna take time. Okay, can I, can I quickly, uh oh oh whoa 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 hold hold on a sec is this a single element mm, is here a fill tool or something well this is svg so it's gonna be different definitely not like not like in this picture okay it's a little bit of a pain okay guys sorry just pause the video to to figure how am I gonna be dealing with this SVG false here okay well okay guys so for now I just took a decision to keep the board as is and mm, if how Dan would request me to alter uh, alter the images background then I would do this and otherwise I will I'll keep it as is because I really kind of like I know I really want to keep it this sort of, sort of a way at the moment or oh, man uh i just i just didn't find an easy way to uh deal with the textures i don't know i th think this this looks really cool i think it looks really cool how do you guys think does it look cool it's still not really the same as the board it's slightly a little bit different uh, how about the spacing by the way yeah well the spacing is perfect right well not all not always mm. it's a bit not really that great here well okay so uh, I'll probably uh, drop the appearance for a while and being satisfied with this picture because this is not a tutorial on how to uh, work with uh, images basically it's more about programming so now we'll probably go for uh, having this made in one two and etc puzzles okay so 
let's alter the project a little bit let's alter the project structure I hope th this should work really this really should work so desktop okay uh, nope this one uh, cut and paste so they all would leave here okay and I want to open this one again okay yeah, by the way I really like the texture so I, I could have added this to my apps as well Now, this texture is interesting uh, by the way yeah I can use just a diff a little bit different one for okay uh, okay I can use a bigger picture for my for my apps but for now uh, I want the following so let's open puzzles so puzzle solver as well as puzzles so for puzzles uh, okay so we will have the single pointer const puzzles uh, empty one and this would be puzzles one two three and the number of mates respectively so find mate in two so starting from this one so here I just close close here and here I say const puzzle two equals like so and now I want to find made in three okay like this const uh, puzzle three equals and I want to find made in four const puzzle four and finally made in unknown number of moves I don't need this for now but this might be on the cards one day const puzzle let's call it puzzle n like this okay and now this one would be already the variable because we would be assigning this, this on load time so or puzzles we don't need to specify the type as well and well now it should give me an error because I don't have the proper puzzles so they should be not loaded okay uh, but now within the puzzle solver somewhere on load mm, in it puzzles yeah uh, so I want to say that puzzle well, uh, let me just say console.log uh, window dot location dot h reference this should be the case so all right okay here it prints and now let's say mm, one okay no 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 hold, hold on a sec okay so uh, 
let's say puzzle equals h okay even window location edit reference split by hash mm, made in like this and the first element and then just the only need to do would be to specify the proper link so let's have a look so now it should be given an error but now mate in one now it should work should it work nope okay so let's make some debugging still uh well let's actually call it mate db let's say mate uh, mate db pointer index we call it initializer okay let's let's call it like this Yeah, this is correct. This is correct. Mm. Oh, what have I done? Yeah, obviously. Hold, 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 hold on a sec. Uh, no, I will. Uh, maybe I could use it not as. Yeah, it's it would be tricky to pick up with. Okay, change plan, change plan, change the plan. Mm. Let's call it puzzle DB, and this would be variable puzzle puzzles. So here uh, I would just be using some indexing. Okay. Uh, well, <sighs> oh man, what am I doing? Come on. So uh, you already get guess what I want to do here. Just want to hold on a sec. What am I doing? It's done easier. Shift and uh, oh damn. Okay, now not now now works. Well. Okay, computer is handing. Okay, I, I I just made one single one single space. Uh, I guess this is enough to to kill my computer. Yeah, guys, sorry, just pause the video. This technical issue. I'm really sorry for that. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Finally, thank God. Okay. Okay. So now find mate in two. Like this. And now find mate in three. 
Okay. And now find made in four. And now find made in unknown number of moves. Okay. Uh, now this should be working. So, well, I uh, probably only need to adjust the index. Oh man, what have I done? Oh, this. <sighs> Fuck. Oh. Uh, Okay, start again. Made in one, made in two. Okay, made in three, made in four, made in. Okay, and at the very end. Okay, it seems like it should be just okay. Okay, now go to, to the puzzle source. So this one we call puzzle DB. Mm. So meeting one it was indexed by zero, but just to avoid this indexing issues, let's just make it another empty one to avoid uh, adding plus one to the index or adding plus one or sub subtracting, doesn't matter. In order to avoid adjusting the index, just use the pure index instead. So... Um, Here we can say parse integer, so to make it integer to index uh, to index our puzzle database by the specific mate db. Let's call it index, not in it, but index. And I hold my breath and try to reload the stuff to see what happens. Okay, puzzle db is not defined. Is it really? Puzzles db instead. Okay, puzzle in plural. Puzzles db. Are you kidding me? Puzzles db. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Made db in it is not defined. Okay, okay, okay. So don't print anything. We don't need to print stuff. Okay, so this arrow is better. So here, uh, I just want to say con. Uh, just want to say console log. Mm. And this one. So do we point? So uh, what's? How is the pointer going now? Uh, made in one, made in one. Well, seems to be just fine. So what's wrong with that? Uh, oh, not puzzle, but puzzles, right? Yeah, puzzles, obviously. Okay, another typo. So now this should be, now this should be working. I really hope so. Okay, and now as far as we have this made in one, we should only have made in one. One made in two. Hold on a sec. Why, why the hell is that happening? So let's check. Uh, made in two. Oh, okay, yeah, that's because that's because I've blundered. Okay. So this is my bad. Okay, let's check again. Uh, okay, also I need to alter this uh, uh, the button uh, the button name. Okay, okay, let's first uh, let's first make sure that we have the proper database being connected. So we have this made in one. Okay, now if I change to made in two, it should be made in two. 
respect to we yeah now we have mates in two I just only need to alter this button text so let's go for mate in three hey are you kidding me what's wrong okay we got mate in three and also this should be working for mate in four I'm not interested in mate in n or question mark at the moment okay okay so now we need to adjust the uh, button text so puzzle solver where is the button with this mate in so I don't I, I don't want anything here okay and we need to give it an ID so ID equals uh, let's call it pick puzzle and here on load document it's maybe not the proper place but well, on the other hand my why not yeah get element by id equals to uh, this big puzzle dot I don't know is that value is that value so it should be made in and here may be index okay let's try okay something has gone horrible wrong uh do i console lock something else Okay, so probably it's not the value, then what if it's not the value, set puzzle, just lost it can you believe it I just lost that okay here it is uh, maybe text I don't know the attribute name don't remember don't know the attribute name okay let's just say in HTML and this should be really for sure okay made in four puzzles perfect so the size okay let's make it made in two Made in two puzzles. Well, I really hope this is gonna be working with the, with the iframes. I really hope this should be working with iframes. So we have, but hold on a sec. Damn, I have another another horrible issue. Or or I don't. Is this gonna? Is the indexing would fit? Yeah, the indexing indexing will fit. Is it gonna fit? Hold on a sec, I just... Yeah, that's another interesting question that will probably... Uh, uh, I would be dealing with that after uh, finishing this video. Yeah, so I also need to check that out slightly a little bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now it looks like pretty nice well it still changes the positions 
it changes the position so probably works fine I'm not sure Evan I'm not even sure uh, maybe I should have changed the style for this drop down as well but on the other hand Maybe this little hack works. Yeah, seems to be a bit better. Well, okay, guys. So I think I think this is just enough. And now the only thing left, well, apart from checking everything, uh, would it be just to make sure that the uh, I can provide the proper iframe. Okay. Uh, so probably. Yeah, I, I will go for checking this. I'll go for checking this later on. Okay. So here we have code snippets to embed. I really hope it's error free. Uh, puzzle solvers into third party websites. Uh, error spelling check. Good. Yes, yeah, seems to be error free. Okay. And now, what I want to do now is. Well, I think it's the fastest way just to grab this on GitHub. Mm. I just need to change the path. Okay. Copy. Mm. So the very first thing, well, I didn't yet deploy this, so it's one of the issues. It's one of the issues. Uh, well, testing this with my local stuff doesn't really make sense. Well, okay, guys, yeah, so probably uh, the final demonstration of how this would have would have looked like uh, in cncenglish.com would have, uh, I guess there would be the separate video when how Zen would already embed uh, my apps into his website. Just to demonstrate how the end result looks like and for now i think yeah it's just enough to see this sort of a thing like so we can solve puzzles now i'm not going to be solving puzzles because it's a little bit uh, a different <laughs> uh, effort uh, uh, within uh, the consciousness the brain i don't know so programming and solving CNC puzzles is a little bit different, but th this is the free. Uh, uh, this is how the free uh, the iframe would look like. The, the content of the iframe would look like when embedded right over in here. Again, I, I just need to to deploy this site on GitHub and go for some check-ins. That takes kind of really lots of time, so I don't really want to be demonstrating that. That's not essential, really. So the most essential thing is already done. So we've changed the board site, the appearance. Yeah, we'll probably work on the background images, uh, like backgrounds here. So just to make it a little bit, may, maybe may, may make them white. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Also, well, it's slightly not that really great layout somewhere. Well, uh, lots of things to do anyway. So yeah, I think that this still might be on the cards. Adding the... Uh, adding a new board texture to my Wukun CNC also might be on the cards uh, yeah so I mean like here 
the CC bridge uh, background image also might be good but I really like how well it seems to be just fine uh, assuming the background image like it is but anyway so just the initial uh, image how, how it look like and this is how the embedded version would look like so I think this is quite pretty cool pretty cool enough and yeah we'll see how how it goes on so I'm planning to do the same for uh, game viewers and for actually the plane app as well that might be really fun and yeah I think I think this is just this is just fine okay guys so this is from my side thanks for watching uh, hope that uh, well maybe not exactly the next video but one of the next videos should be showcasing how this uh, app would have been better to cnc in english.com so uh, I really hope you see that and enjoy uh, the new functionality on cnc in english.com site itself so the, the idea is very simple you can just read materials read the theory and then you can just go for this interactive diagram practicing straight ahead so that's that's the core idea behind this project that we're working on so that's kind of it okay guys so this is it from my site uh until the next time and take care